So there's Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner things getting nasty, dude. Uh, the And these celebrity divorces. I mean, every celebrity and their brother's getting a divorce. Like I saw like 16 different celebrity divorce headlines in the last two weeks. So who knows what's going on in that realm of the world? I guess people are just kind of sick of each other. Uh, you know, and I mean, listen, I don't blame her. Okay. Sophie Turner, you can do better than Joe Jonas. Okay. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Um, and apparently according to TMZ, Sophie Turner found out about Joe Jonas filing a divorce via social media, via social media. Okay. I mean, listen, well, can we, does Joe Jonas ever break up with anyone like face to face, like an adult man? Like, can Joe Jonas please in his next relationship, please. And whatever the next relationship is for Joe Jonas, we need, just promise me, Joe, Promise me you, it won't be a text message or an email or a social media campaign. Just break up with the next girl face to face. Just take her out to coffee. Say, hey, it's, it's me, not you. And just let her go face to face and let us find out that way. You know what I mean? Like the fact that every single one of Joe Jonas exes have to be broken up with via digitally is getting a little ridiculous. And I mean, things are getting juicier by the minute because of course, as soon as Miss Taylor found out that uh, Miss Sophie found out via social, uh, they've been hitting the town. Not once now, but twice. And dare I say, both Sophie, to, uh, Sophie Turner, that's her name, both Sophie and Taylor Swift looking mighty fine. Okay. They're looking real good together. And you know, for a fact, every single minute that they have spent together out on the town in the middle of New York city has been spent on making fun of laughing at and being pissed off at Joe Jonas and probably the rest of the Jonas brothers, because I can only imagine the type of gossip, the type of news, the type of information that Taylor Swift and now Sophie Turner have on Joe Jonas and the rest of his family is probably worth millions to the press. The amount of information that they have on that entire boy band family is probably worth its weight in gold. Uh, so, I mean, things aren't looking good for Joe in the grand scheme of things. I'm thinking Sophie's probably going to win it all. She's probably going to walk away with the golden trophy on this one. Uh, so, you know, the entire time her and Taylor were together, it was just like snickering and just the greatest, like, oh my God, he did that. Oh my God, he did this. Oh my God, he did that. Oh my God, he did this. Oh my God, can you believe it? He did that too. Ew, dude, like stop. That's exactly how the entire weekend with Taylor Swift and Sophie went just the other day amid the Joe Jonas divorce. Um, and so now, of course, dude, the kids are involved. The kids are always involved. It's always a sad, sad day when the kids are involved. When the kids get involved, it's like ugh, things get tricky. He wants one thing. She wants another. He's on tour. She's filming a movie. He's on tour. She's filming a TV show. The nanny should just probably get the kids at this point. But you know, it never goes according to plan. TMZ has dropped a new report claiming that Sophie Turner has filed legal docs in federal court claiming that Joe Jonas is illegally keeping their children in New York City and preventing them from returning to England. The outlet claims that Sophie wants the court order demanding that Joe produce the passports and return the kids to her. And that in April of 2023, the couple made England their permanent home. Sophie also claims in the docs per TMZ that she and Joe plan to raise their children in the United Kingdom and previously discussed them attending school there. Regarding the kids currently being in the United States, TMZ claims Sophie says that she, with some hesitation, agreed they could stay with Joe during the Jonas Brothers U.S. tour since she was filming a very intense movie. Uh, but that in September, the plan was for her to collect the children and return home to England. As of now, neither Joe nor Sophie have committed to this report. They previously released a joint statement together uh, saying in part, uh, after, 
After four wonderful years of marriage, we have mutually decided to, uh, to be, uh, I don't see why they use these big ass words. We have decided to end our marriage. There are many uh, speculative narratives as to of why, but truly this is a united decision and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy for us and our children. And, you know, so Sophie's just out and about hitting the town with Taylor Swift. Um, and so here's the reality. Even if Joe and Sophie made a deal when they were together, uh, that, uh, they'd move to England, that deal is not binding, uh, on the divorce judge. So the judge's North star, the judge's North star is what's in the best interest of the two kids deal or no deal. Weeks ago, Joe filed for divorce from Sophie in Dade County claiming their four year marriage was, uh, irrevitably broken and asking for joint custody of their two young daughters. I mean, talk about a messy situation. 